What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. It's 2017. Got some great new news about the Nintendo Switch coming up in just a few days. Nintendo's press conference uh, slash actual console reveal of the Nintendo Switch is set to be about a week away. And it's going to be really exciting. Uh, they're going to show real specs of this thing, exactly what it can do. And I'm, and I'm guessing some interesting IPs. I want to see some Mario, some Metroid, some Zelda, and I want it all to be available at launch. But until then, we have some really interesting new news from a credible source about what we can expect from Nintendo's press conference and beyond. I'll drop a link in the description. Nintendo Switch price, games, and Switch release date news. More facts have been confirmed about the Nintendo Switch games lineup ahead of its big presentation later on this month, as well as some console specifications. Two big eye-catchers is that Nintendo Switch price will fall under the $300 mark for certain versions of the console, while the UK release date is thought to be set for March 17th. Laura Kate Dale recently took part in a Reddit AMA, a person who has proved a groundswell of knowledge on the subject since it was first announced. According to Dale, Nintendo Switch presentation could see a new teaser for Beyond Good and Evil 2, as well as a new IP announcement. Quote, I've heard of a CGI trailer for Beyond Good and Evil 2 is in the works. It's less than a minute long. No word if it'll be ready for January. I suspect not January event, but equally, I don't know when else a one minute teaser being worked on now would be for. I can't place any other events they would be prepping it for. Yeah, stuff we're not expecting, and at least one new unexpected IP. Dale continued, Initial virtual console library is 100% going to disappoint folks in terms of raw volume of titles. I've heard about two third party exclusives, Rabbit's RPG being one. I suspect three at least, but that's no guarantee they'll all be good exclusives." End quote. And the Nintendo Switch games list has also been boosted by the news of a blockbuster new release. With the Nintendo Switch release date set for March, Nintendo has been busy partnering up with developers and publishers on new releases. Assassin's Creed Empire is reportedly in line for a Nintendo Switch release, according to Nintendo insider Laura Dale. And not only is a new Assassin's Creed game planned for the Nintendo Switch, but it's expected to launch at the same time as the other versions. This suggests that the version being worked on is on par with the PS4 and Xbox One releases, which gives us another clue about the Nintendo Switch's specs. Nintendo Switch fans will be worried about the news that the console does not have a replaceable battery. The Nintendo Switch battery news was uncovered after Nintendo filed paperwork with the FCC. According to the filings, users won't be able to replace the Nintendo Switch battery on the handheld part of the device. While Nintendo has yet to reveal full specs just yet, the latest development is worrying, especially if the handheld battery life isn't up to scratch. As DualShockers points out, the Nintendo Wii U did have an upgradable battery which gave users a chance to increase the gamepad's battery from 3 hours to 8 hours. The only saving grace is that if Nintendo tries to save money on the battery, then the Switch might launch with a cheaper price point. This is awesome news guys, everything but the battery of course. Uh, if you can't change the battery out and it has kind of a lackluster uh, performance as far as longevity and life of the battery, that's going to be really, really disappointing news. But we are talking about Nintendo, so Nintendo more than likely has figured out how to get the maximum amount of usage out of the battery that's already in the portable portion of the game. But the news of Beyond Good and Evil 2 being actually shown this month at Nintendo's event is really awesome. Uh, an Assassin's Creed game that's coming to the Switch, as well as PS4 and Xbox One, that gives people tons of hope that this thing is actually going to be able to go head to head with PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And if it can, it's going to be even more epic as far as a handheld, because if you can get that kind of playability out of a portable that you get out of the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, it's going to be really, really sick. One thing I did not want to hear about here was rabbits. Uh, Nintendo and the rabbits and Ubisoft, nobody wants to see that. That's in the past, and to me, it was never exciting. And if this is more of the Rayman rabbits, uh, I think that's kind of a bad move and it's kind of a salty move. I don't want to see it. Some of us more, want to play more of the hardcore game centered around adult gameplay experiences rather than, you know, these little raging rabbits and raving rabbits and all this stuff. But beyond Good and Evil 2, new IPs, at least three exclusives that she's talking about here. Assassin's Creed, 
uh, the th less than $300 price point. It all sounds like it's going to be really good. I can't wait for the Nintendo Switch press event. You guys tell me what you think in the comments below. What do you think is going to be revealed at the press event? Is there anything that's going to happen that nobody is talking about? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can support the channel at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.